Hello and welcome to my bookshelf. Today I'll be doing my TBR for the Spookathon, which I'm really excited about. I just, I love Halloween and spooky things and thrillers and all of it. So I'm really excited to participate in a readathon that involves all of the above. So if you don't know, Spookathon is a readathon that starts October 16th and goes until the 22nd. So it's a week long and there are some challenges which you can choose to do or not. Um, their goal is just to get people to read, so if you read, then you've you've done well. Um, but if you want to participate in the challenges, like I'm going to attempt to, you can. Um, I'm going to go over what the challenges are, and I'll be showing you my picks for each one. Um, they also said that it's pretty laid back, but you can interpret the challenges any way you want. And if you want, you can just pick one book that meets all of them if you want, if you're trying to do the challenge thing. It really doesn't matter. Um, I decided to go for five different books because I love to challenge myself. Hopefully I can actually do it. We'll see. Either way, I'm excited to challenge myself. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of um, booktube for me is to challenge myself. And I have been reading more, so it has been working. Um, but I definitely know that I challenge myself probably more than I need to, but I, I'm ambitious, what can I say? So let's just jump into the TBR, shall we? So the first challenge is pretty straightforward, and that is just to read a thriller. Um, several of my books fit this category, but the one I specifically chose for this category is Room by Emma Donahue. Um, if you don't know, basically this book is about this woman and her child, and they're in a room. Um, from my understanding, the boy has always been in this room. The mother, I don't think, has always been in this room. But, yeah, so that's kind of the premise. Um, and it's supposed to be thrilling, suspenseful. It definitely sounds mysterious. Like, I want to know what this room is all about. Like, why are they in this room? Why? I have some ideas. I don't know. I've never read this book. But I've, I've heard lots of good things about it. I know it was turned into a movie. It sounds really interesting. It's a thriller. It meets the challenge, so I'm excited for that. The next challenge is to read a book with a spooky word in the title. Um, and again, you're allowed to kind of interpret this how you want. I kind of went a little bit of a different direction, but you'll see what I mean. Um, the book is called Hater by David Moody. Now, hater is kind of a spooky word. Kinda. So it kind of works. But I'm really going for this because of the aesthetic of the cover. And you know how it how the how the word hater is spelt out in blood, super spooky, <laughs> very terrifying. Um, so yeah, this definitely constitutes as a spooky word in my book. So it's it's going to fit this category because I would need it to, right? So yeah, hater. Um, all I know about this is that it takes place in this society where violence is all the rage and people are terrified to leave the houses because they're afraid of getting attacked. Which kind of reminds me of The Purge, but like, all the time. That's the vibe I'm getting from the back. So, it sounds interesting. I'm really curious to find out why things are that way um, and what it would be like to live in a place like that. I mean, it sounds terrifying, to be honest. Just thinking about it. So yeah, spooky word in the title. The next challenge is to read a book based on a childhood fear. Um, and again, kind of doing an interpretation of this. So the book is The Scary Stories Treasury, which if you don't know, which you should, it's such a um, iconic book from my childhood, I guess. I don't know if it's everyone's, it's probably just mine. Um, but yeah, so there were three books. Um, oops. <laughs> Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, More Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and Scary Stories 3, More Stories, More Tales to Chill Your Bones. Sorry. Um, <laughs> either way, um, all very chilling titles, but if you notice, the cover has a very creepy drawing, and there's many creepy drawings just like this inside here. Um, yeah, so like I said, this is a book that's aimed towards children, and it's something that I read as a child, so it was just terrifying to me, you know, mainly the pictures. I, I think not only like the stories are kind of creepy and weird, but then you see the creepy pictures and all together it just makes a terrifying experience. So at least as a kid. So that's kind of why I'm choosing it. Um, it 
kind of is my childhood fear, if you will. Um, but also the original title, you know, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Um, the dark is kind of terrifying for me. Um, this is something that's still kind of the case. Um, I've definitely become more adult about <laughs> the dark, but um, yeah, until, you know, just a couple years ago, um, I always had to sleep with the light on, which is kind of embarrassing to admit, but... But either way, um, yes, childhood fear, this is my choice. Um, it looks rather big, but if you've ever read them, it's a very quick read, um, and there's lots of pictures, and it, it looks more intimidating than it really is, so it shouldn't be so bad for the spookathon. Alright, so the next challenge is to read a book with orange on the cover. Again, pretty straightforward. Um, and I decided to go with The Gates by John Connolly. Um, <laughs> now it looks very spooky, which is very fitting, but from my understanding, it's not supposed to be straight up scary. It's supposed to be kind of funny, but it's kind of a bar about dark topics. <laughs> um, so it kind of, I mean, I don't know, that's the vibe I get from the back of it that it's kind of like this like satirical piece almost. I don't know if satire is really the right word, but um, we're kind of, it sounds like it's supposed to be kind of funny and whimsical, um, which isn't something that you would normally expect from a cover like this and just the, the topic. So, um, yeah, it's orange, so it fits the category, and it sounds like an interesting book to read during the Spookathon. Alright, and the last challenge is to read a book set in a spooky location. Um, and I decided to go with, and then there were none, by Agatha Christie. And if you don't know, uh, the story is set on an island, which by itself isn't scary, but the premise of the story is scary because there's ten strangers on this island and they start dying off one by one. So can you imagine being on this island while this story is taking place? Like, you're pretty much a goner because I'm assuming you're not the one killing everyone. So yeah, you're about to die. <laughs> It's, that would be terrifying to me, so I'm going with that. Um, plus, again, it's very thrilling and just a really great, you know, book to read for the Spookathon. So, that's my last choice. Alright, so those were my picks for the Spookathon's reading challenges. We'll see how I do. I really enjoy these challenges. Um, I like that you can take a lot of creative license with each one and, you know, just be as creative as you want or just as simple and straightforward as you want as well. Um, I liked having that variety in there and that choice. So, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to participate in the Spookathon. And with that, I shall sign off. So I just want to thank you, as always, for watching this video. And until next time.